welcome back, welcome back, as I'm sharing the 12 steps of how to overcome discouragement. And we are on the eighth step. So the eighth step is how is um, to overcome the pride of not telling our family or our friends that we are actually discouraged and we require their prayers. Now, see, sometimes we feel reluctant to tell others that we're discouraged um, because we want others to believe that, you know, that we're strong and we're able to quickly overcome any setbacks. Um, I can really relate to that because sometimes I suffer from, um, you know, wanting to have people see me as being very strong. Um, but, you know, this can actually be our pride, our pride coming up in our lives. And we need to realize that, you know, sometimes we need to let that down because people are waiting for us to ask them for help, to ask them for their prayers. And we need to humble ourselves to go out there and ask for that help. Because, you know, God will give us more grace and our response will be the living example to show those who are praying for us that, you know, they are of use in our lives. And there are, you know, there's a couple of verses that I, you know, um, uh, Matthew chapter 7, I'm just looking over at my Bible here. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 and 8. I always thought that these verses were a great song. But what I wanted to share with you, um, and I'm sure you'll find it very familiar as well, is um, Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 and 8. The verse goes, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. And verse 8 says, For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks will find. And to him who knocks, it will be open. Please, I hope that this step number 8 encourages you to ask for help. And hopefully you'll ask for help from the Lord Jesus up above. Because he answers, he promises to answer all our prayers. And those verses I just shared were actually straight from the Bible. Just like I said, I actually found those first of all in a song when I was very young. So I'm actually so glad and happy that they're actually part of the Bible verses. So until next time, I wish you well and may your wisdom guide you. All good things.